Hey guys, it's Ikra and welcome back to my channel. We're gonna do a little bit of transformation. Um, all the necessary goods. I have my vanity, the camera, I have a mirror. I have some wet ones because you know. And I have all my makeup here. I just took a shower so my hair is like kind of damp. You can see it has like waves in it. Um, I'm gonna be using, woo, it's from Revlon and it's huge. I'm gonna be using this to do my hair and then using my makeup to do my makeup as one would. So starting off, since my skin's a little dry, I'm gonna be using the Kylie Cosmetic Primer. So it's definitely been quite a minute since I've posted maybe like five months or so but I wanted to update you guys on some new makeup tips that I do have so I did tell you guys I took a shower and I did a little skin prep I used the ordinary caffeine solution I always put it underneath my eyes um I don't really know if it does much but my under eyes do get a little puffy this is health this the aloe vera soothing gel neutrogena spf 45 sunscreen and i combine these two this is really drying and without this it gets even more dry well secret to that is this random product that i got from you'll never believe it amazon um it's called cystic acne treatment i do have hormonal acne but it comes up in the same spot so at this point it is like cystic acne so random i don't even know how i came across it but i did and i bought it and it's kind of been helping i don't know i'll keep you guys posted on that i have a bit of redness on my skin definitely want something light but i do want a bit of a coverage let's do my favorite combo which is essentially the nars natural radiant oh my gosh i finished so much of this foundation that's impressive and the laura mercier tinted moisturizer i like to mix these two and then put it on because this is too light and this is too tan for me especially like now this might actually fit like perfectly but i just want a little more coverage for the redness on my face Okay, let's talk hair. So the Revlon machine that I'm gonna try out for this video, I've actually used it before. And I think in one of my previous videos, I told a story about me using like those brushes and blow drying my hair and how much of a disaster it was. And so when I tried out that machine, I was so scared that my hair was gonna get stuck again. And again, I did it at night when everyone was asleep. So <laughs> no one could save me. But this time around, my hair did not get stuck in the machine, like at all. It was actually so nice. It, the noise actually scared me. I, I don't know why. <laughs> I wasn't expecting like a blow drying noise. Like, you know, when you turn on your blow dryer. But yeah, the noise kind of scared me. But other than that, it was perfect. Your hair doesn't get stuck. It makes it look super shiny. And you kind of have to use it on damp hair. My hair is like a little damp. That combination put on the back of my hand. Oh, you can see it a little. It's the perfect coverage. Like, absolutely perfect. This is in the shade Ochre. Ochre 3W1. And this is in Syracuse. If you guys try this out, let me know. I have been loving the Rare Beauty Concealer. I have it in the shade 250W and honestly, it's perfect. It's not too light and it, it brightens, it covers. I think this is like my new favorite concealer. I try to do a review of her brand like multiple times, but I just hated how the video Video came out so maybe i'll try again or maybe i won't <laughs> i also spot conceal with this as you can see like it, it just works you know i i really like that i just said i'm gonna do like a review of rare beauty but i don't want to admit this but there are a few items that i'm not a huge fan of like for the most part i do like it but then there are a few things here and there that i'm just like ah but the brand in general i think is really nice all right since we have like cream going on i'm just gonna go ahead and put on some cream blush just to go with it um absolutely not i'm gonna be using another product from rare beauty this is in the shade or the color love and if you have my skin tone or if you're near my range of skin tone like this would look so beautiful on your skin Have you guys seen that video about blush placement? Like, I forgot who did it, but it just makes a difference. I didn't know it was such a big deal, but it is. I used to put it here, and now I put it, like, more here, so it just, like, helps the cheekbones like that. I don't know. I don't know. This does dry very fast, and um, I'm using my beauty blender that has, like, leftover products, so it just blends in a little better. And you definitely want to put on any cream product before you put on powder, just so the two don't, like not mix so i like to put a little bit on my nose because i like to get that sunburnt look in the winter or the fall this actually is really nice okay i'm gonna be taking some powder from kylie it's so cringy oh you know what i should have started off with some lip balm 
I still use this lip balm from Lanyard. Um, I haven't lost it yet. Again, throw back to my other video. I think I made a lot of videos where I could start throwing it back, like referring to old videos. Maybe not. Who for Kim's contour stick in the shade Dark. And I've actually been using this. Yeah, I am surprised I've been using this. I didn't think I would like it. All right, so here's what I do. Very close to my skin tone. Put it here, put it there. This is the tricky part. You want to like slick in your cheekbones, look till you look like you've had Botox way too much, and then same thing for here, right underneath your nose, and maybe like just gonna blend, blend, blend. You literally don't even need to like go ham with this. So easy to blend and it helps like it doesn't look muddy or chalky okay so we're gonna do this one next like that just helps define our jaw and gets rid of that double chin for the cheekbones this is really important because do this wrong it's gonna look it's just gonna be pointless really so what you want to do is just blend up so you see how I'm not like dragging it down I'm literally like blending it up so you want to like suck in your cheeks and blend up and it helps with the cheekbones like it's nothing too intense yeah I actually really like this this is in dark one this is Kylie's eyeliner by the way I like tight lining only because it makes your lashes look more fuller like when you put on mascara so I don't usually do my brows ever in general but lately I've actually been getting into my brows and I've been using this pencil from hourglass this was in my boxycharm and if it wasn't in my boxycharm I I wouldn't have ever like purchased it but i have very full eyebrows they don't really need to be like filled in but there are some sparse areas that i just like to go in and just clean up so one end has a spoolie and the other end has the actual like pencil and it's if you look at it it's like very fine tip i just lightly run this over like nothing too crazy like obviously and after doing that i take the spoolie and i just brush it out just so everything's nice and blended really simple really easy i just brush my brows up gives them a really nice feathered out effect and it just makes them look more full as if i didn't have thick brows already this brow gel from kylie cosmetics and i literally brush these up like i wipe a little bit of it off so it's not like too much and then i just brush it up and out tip i learned is that when you if you brush them up it gives is your eye that snatched cat eye effect this side really needs to be brushed up that's like my current eyebrow routine not including like cleaning them up and just keeping them nice and trimmed um i usually use bronzer i'm gonna be taking a dirty brush this is the mark jacobs bronzer sometimes i use physicians formula it's whatever is like close by me i usually don't use the kylie cosmetic bronzer do i use kim's bronzer or contour whatever that powder is i'm not sure since i don't i haven't recently used it in the last eight months i'm gonna say no for eyes i just take this literally the same product and I just put it like clean I just put it really messily in here I don't really put it on my lids I just put it in like the crease to get like a nice nose contour because it's like a contouring I'll just take that and follow this line from my brows like nothing too heavy I'm not even good at nose contours and I'll just I just put more bronzer there and then I put a little bit up there if I do contour my nose that's how I would do it I'm not good at contouring noses in general <laughs> going back to eye I'm like all over this is how I usually do my makeup I take this brown eyeliner from NYX it's like a pencil liner not too intense but still there even if they don't look very symmetrical i don't always care because i do just put on mascara and call it a day so maybe i'll do like a video on easy ways to do wings if you can't do like a wing with like black liner there are ways to get away with it and i figured out some not all but some i don't know i'm not good at doing wings like all the time either sometimes i'll just have like a lucky day sometimes i'll cry so yeah the mascara i'm using today is from mark jacobs it's their Jo volume mascara and i think you get something at the drugstore for better but i mean if you've ever wanted to try it out so i like to start from my roots and then curl it up my hands are not shaking <laughs> right after i said that and then the ends i like to flick them out and just like that okay let's do the other eye i think this one looks pretty good like 
the difference man the difference i feel like just putting on mascara alone makes so much of a difference is that just me tell me that's not just me then i like to go over it a few times just to darken it up and give it more volume my hair this whole video was just unbearable are we done no we're not hello um next i have it's from kkw this is in medium and i like to put it on the tip of my nose for that rudolph looking look kind of like on the bridge like right there and right here in my inner corners and that's really it. I've been liking her contour and highlighting stick. Who knew? Who knew? I know that the highlighter phase is completely over. Like, no one does that booming highlighter. But I found this product. It's new. It's from Morphe 2 that I actually loved. It's their face and eye gloss. It's amazing. Take a little on my fingers and then I'll just put it like... It's nothing too fancy and yeah. I mean, I'm assuming you could do this with Vaseline. I've been using the, not this. I've been using this lip liner from Bodyography. Bodyography? Bodyography? The shade Rosewood. I just line my lips. This from Kat Von D. Well, actually, she changed her brand. It's now KVD Vegan Beauty, and the KVD does not stand from Kat Von D. From um, what I've been told, slash saw on Sephora. <laughs> You know what? This gives me a perfect time to use this dewy lip balm in the shade Thankful. I could not get that out of my mouth. From Selena's brand. Uh, I always like more blush. Just to pack more on, I'm gonna take my Almar palette. I love this palette. I feel like they don't make this anymore or it's always sold out. I like to take my beauty blender and just blend that in. Like how I started this video off saying, Guys, I don't put blush here anymore. And then I just put blush there. I'm annoying okay and this is the finished makeup look i'm gonna plug this in and dry blow dry my hair just a disclaimer i suck at doing my hair after i take a shower i put in this product right here leave-in conditioner it has thermo seal in case you want to blow dry your hair so my hair is very fine so it does get tangled really easily this is what happens when you brush out like wavy hair I'm going to split my hair. I feel like I'm a hair tutorial channel now. I suck at doing hair. This is going to be so embarrassing because you guys are going to see me and see how awkward I am when I do my hair. Yeah, I also can't do cool tricks, so it's just going to be regular blow-dried hair. Maybe. <laughs> Here's what I really like to do after I blow dry. It's still a little warm, so I just boil it up. Ow, that's actually kind of hot. And I just do that. Yeah, you can tell I suck at this. And just wait a few seconds. See just how nice and shiny that looks compared to before? I don't know. I feel like I could do a better job with this. Let's face it, I'm no hair expert. I can only do what I can do. This is my hair with no product. Literally, if I can do it, anyone can do it. Like, guys, my hair looks so shiny. All right, you guys, this is the final look. Um, I think it turned out really nice. I wish I had somewhere to go now. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot. And as usual let me know if you guys tried any of these tips and tricks what your favorite products are from this video what products you don't like from this video and if you like this i'll see you guys on my next video yeah promise there will be a video promise don't forget to seize the day bye